So now if I run this, uh, we should be able to browse and upload our image here. So I will click on browse. I will go to downloads and this is the image. For example, I will click on it and voila, it works, right? So now you can add any image processing technique that you want after this, right? And I select and there you go. Now it's grayscale. So that's how easy it is to work with OpenCV images. Now you can upload and you can pretty much create a image editor using this functionality alone. So, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn something special. We are going to learn how to integrate OpenCV images in PyVisual. So it will be very exciting. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do, we will go ahead to our new project and we will name it OpenCV image. And then if you look on the left hand side, we have the advanced tab. And if you click on that, you will get the OpenCV image, video and webcam. So for now, we are going to try out the OpenCV image. Now, this is a simple element like we have seen before, like a simple image. And what it does is that you can simply drag and stretch it out based on what you need. And then you have the option of fill the image. You can click on it and it will fill the image. If it's blue, it will completely fill the image. If it's not, then it will take up the space uh, and it will not zoom in. We will look into what exactly that does uh, when we go to our code. Then we have the background color. You can change the background color from here. Uh, we will keep it the same for now. Uh, then you have the corner radius as always. And we also have the border color and we have the border uh, thickness and the border color. And uh, then we have the flip. You can flip the image vertically and horizontally. And then we have the other features like going back, uh, opacity and all that. So that's the basic idea of how you can use this. So now let's go ahead and add it to our PyCharm project. So here in the PyCharm project, first, uh, what I would like you to remind is that uh, whenever we are creating a new project, always make sure you have the latest version of PyVisual because it's updating a lot. So make sure you have the latest one. In order to do that, you can write pip install PyVisual and you can write dash dash upgrade so you can hit enter and it will uh, upgrade whatever the latest version is now once that is done you can go ahead and create a new directory and we will write the name of this as opencv image and then we are going to copy the path of this and we will go back and we will first of all update this so that it saves and then we can auto sync it we will give in the link and we will select the folder view files and we will update again so the first time around it's a little bit long uh, to do all of that but after that it becomes a habit so if we click on opencv image we go to app and we run this and there we have it so now it's a simple blank image now what we can do is uh, we can open up any image that we want so let's go ahead and write the code for this so that we can try out different examples. So here in the attach events, as you know that we will start always here, we will first go back and name this. We will give it a variable name and we will call it OpenCV image. And we will copy this name and we will update it here. While it's updating, we can go back and we can start writing the code. So here we can write UI and then we can give in that this is page underscore zero and then we will write that we want to access opencv underscore image and then we will give in the image so now we need to give in an actual opencv image here that's how simple it is so you can use any opencv features uh, within this so you can write here import cv2 and then over here you have to make sure, by the way, you have to make sure you have OpenCV. So you have to do pip install, uh, pip install OpenCV dash Python. So uh, that's a bit obvious, but I will mention that. Okay. So here, what you have to do is you can write uh, my image. Uh, IMG is, for example, cv2 dot im read. And then you can give in the path of any image that you have. 
So I have uh, this image. Let me copy the let me copy the thumbnail of our video and I will copy this and this is the name of that image it's a very weird name but <laughs> so and you can write r so that it knows that this is a path and then you can simply give this image uh, to your element and there you go so now you can see the image is added and you can see that it stretches uh, not stretches it zooms in to fill the complete container right uh, a good way to understand this is that if i stretch this out it will still fill it up completely so if we update this and if i go back and let's run that again and there you go so as you can see it's trying to fill the complete image now if you don't want that you can simply go back and you can click on this and you can uncheck the fill image so now it will not completely fill the image uh, it will keep the aspect ratio and it will not zoom in so there you go now you can see we have the background as the gray color now if you wanted to change the background to a different color uh, of course you can do that too uh, you can click on this and you can change the fill color so for example we wanted a green fill color so we can have something like this and we update it and if we go back to our code and we run it now you can see we have the green uh, the green fill uh, at the background image so that's pretty cool right so one more thing we will learn is how to use a file dialog with your OpenCV image so that will open up a lot of possibilities where you can uh, load an image uh, by clicking on a button and browsing through your folders right so that will be awesome so if we click on inputs and we can go to file dialogs oh let me go back we can go to file dialogs and here you have all these different buttons that you can use so for example we can add browse right so that will be very simple to do and let's change the color of this to gray or something whitish and then uh, we will remove the border or we will keep the border uh, but we will make it a little bit lighter and we will make it um let's say a bit grayish or blackish something like that and we will also make it fill okay so this is design wise we are making some changes okay then we have the browse so now we have the file dialog so we can write here uh, button underscore browse browse and we can copy that and we can update now if we go back what we will do is that instead of getting the image like this, we are going to get it using the browse, right? So what we will do is, this is the name of our button. So we can copy this and we can paste it here and we will find the button browse. And we will say on file selected, we are going to call a function. Uh, let's say set underscore image and we will define it here def set underscore image and we will get in the path and that path we are going to give in to our image like this so here we can write it like that and that path first of all we are going to send in here so that we can read and then we will do the same that we did before but now you see the problem is we don't have access to ui because we are not sending in ui here as i mentioned before we cannot just write ui like this so you have to use partial to do that so we will import partial so uh imports we'll write from function tools imports partial and in partial we are going to write set image and then we are going to give in UI equals UI. And then we will receive it here. And that is pretty much it. So now if I run this, uh, we should be able to browse and upload our image here. So I will click on browse. I will go to downloads. And this is the image, for example. I will click on it and voila, it works, right? So let me try it again. Uh, we will try another image. Let's see, we have all these. Um, uh, let's see this one, yeah. There you go, reaction time game and all of that. So uh, whatever image we select, uh, it gets selected. So there you go.
So that's pretty cool, right? So now you can add any image processing technique that you want after this, right? Uh, sorry, before this. So after loading and doing this. So let me let me show you one example uh, where we can do it in a gray scale. Image gray is equal to CV2 dot uh, um, CVT color, and we will give in the image, and we will say CVT uh, CV2 dot uh, color bgr2 gray and now we can display image gray instead of image and let's run that and if i browse it and if i go to my downloads and i select and there you go now it's grayscale so that's how easy it is to work with OpenCV images now you can upload and you can pretty much create a image editor using this functionality alone so that is a challenge for you try out different things and add these buttons where you can change it to grayscale uh, uh, hsv and all that so it will be a lot of fun to try that out and let me know in the comments if you are able to achieve this so this is it for today i hope you have learned something new if you like the project give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one